Hello friends, this is Abby Jo and welcome to our cottage kitchen. Today I'm baking a chocolate cake for my daughter's birthday. I always ask my children what kind of birthday cake that they want and this year my daughter Natasha, who's in the kitchen with me today, wanted a chocolate cake. She had this brilliant idea to make the cranberry sauce that we love to eat and add it to the cake. It's an amazing combo of chocolate and cranberries. All of these recipes will be linked in the description below at the top of the page. I find baking to be very relaxing and I tend to get into the zone. Sometimes I even forget that Daniel's filming. I love that my children enjoy being in the kitchen and I find that it often gives us this relaxed time to talk and just hang out together while we're baking or cooking dinner. Our family loves cranberries during the holidays, but we really enjoy using them all winter long. I have many recipes that we use regularly, and I often find them on sale during the fall and stock up the freezer for our winter supply of cranberries. My daughter wanted a large cake that we could have leftovers because my children's favorite tradition is to have birthday cake for breakfast the next day, a delightful treat that they look forward to. I doubled the recipe to make four layers, adding the cranberry sauce and adding the layers did make the top a little heavy and it was leaning a bit, but it sure tasted good and we had plenty for leftovers. The chocolate with the tartness of the cranberries was really lovely and I like the cake recipe because it's not oversweet. Something I've been really excited to show you is this lovely drying rack that my husband just installed. I love it so much and I love that it's out of the way. 
It's called a Sheila Maid, and it's made in Britain. This is not sponsored, but I will share the link of where you can get it below in the description. It was really nice. We had some of the birthday cake leftovers for my husband and I's tea time. This is my new favorite spot to take tea and talk with my husband on winter's afternoon, all cozy in front of the wood cook stove. I'm really happy to say we have a chandelier for the dining room. We have been living with a hanging light bulb for the last year and a half since we started the renovation process and to get the beautiful light fixture up just transforms the room. I looked high and low for a reasonably priced vintage chandelier and I finally found this one made in Spain from a seller on eBay. I always try to keep boiled eggs on hand for snacks, sandwich spreads, and salads, and I love using my Instapot. My eggs turn out perfect and they're easy to peel. And I have eggs on hand for the rest of the week, an easy meal prep that takes just a few minutes. My husband picked up some fresh fruit from the store. I like to unbag my fruit and store them in wicker baskets. We go through it fast enough that nothing gets bad and my kitchen stays pretty cool. For more day-to-day -day happenings, follow along on my Instagram stories. I'm always checking weekly through my produce for spoilage and anything that should be used up, chopped up and frozen or canned to make it stretch longer for the family's needs. 
With onions, if they began to sprout, I just use the tops like fresh spring onions and see if the main onion is still usable. I like to roast a chicken or two weekly. Lemons are my secret to the perfect roast chicken. They give such a lovely flavor and moisture to the meat. I baste with olive oil or butter, salt and pepper and spices. I like to roast vegetables right alongside my chicken at 400 degrees for one and a half hours. The table is truly my favorite place to be with my family. We eat and talk together, but it's so much more. It's a time to reconnect, to share our hearts, to laugh, to be. We often linger long after the food is gone. Hello and Happy New Year. Hope you guys are all enjoying this month of January. It's a very cozy month after all the holiday season. I'm just enjoying it to my fullest and kind of actually preparing for a long winter ahead. I don't know if it's just the time of year, but after the holidays, this kind of winter season sets in and I feel like I crave nutritious bone broths and soup and rustic breads and roasted vegetables. And I just love getting in the kitchen and doing food prep for the week so that we have really delicious meals and snacks already done and in the fridge and ready for us to get outside and enjoy this cold weather and do more sledding and walking and just being outside and enjoying the outdoors during these cold season. I think it's a good thing to just get out there and enjoy it. I'm really slow to take down my Christmas decorations. I tend to keep them up quite a long time, sometimes to the middle of January, and I keep my greenery up sometimes even until February just depending on uh, the mood that I'm in, but I feel like there's a long winter ahead, so I'm just going to enjoy all the cozy lights and the greenery around the house. I definitely start taking more of the Christmas stuff down in the middle of January, but I like to keep a lot of the greens and the little twinkly lights just to make a cozy home. It was so fun getting the chandelier up over the dining room table and getting our beautiful drying rack mounted on the ceiling. I love getting little projects like that done 
after, you know, the holidays and getting things put away and just enjoying this almost quiet that starts to settle upon the house. I often feel like after the busy holidays, we have this fresh, clean slate of a new year upon us. And I think it's a great time to just dig in and write down plans and ideas and goals and things that you want to do on a piece of paper, but also to be gentle with yourself and realize that is also winter. And winter is a time of rest and reprieve. I would love to hear in the comments below what you guys are doing for the winter months ahead, what new skills you wanna learn, what things that you're doing just to practice being in the moment and relaxing and enjoying the season. So I really hope you guys take some time to enjoy just reading a book, looking through your seed catalogs, dreaming about your garden, planning, cleaning out that closet, just enjoying the daily activities of winter days ahead of you. I wish you guys all a very, very happy new year. And I really appreciate all of your support over this last year. And I enjoy having many more days in the cottage with you ahead.